My name is Colin Powton. I'm a professor at Monash Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences, which we call MIPS. So uh, the focus of this institute is really drug discovery and development, and we're particularly interested in what stem cell technology can offer. My particular interest is in how drug discovery is compromised by having relatively poor biological models, models that can't really predict the action of drugs in humans very well. And so looking at it at a very simple level, if you look at drugs entering clinical development, only 10% of them actually reach uh, the status of approved drugs. My name is John Haynes and I'm a researcher here at the Monash Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences. My research area is the development of models of human disease using stem cells. You start with a stem cell, we all start with a stem cell, um, but in this case we're trying to turn the stem cell into neurons, so it's a laborious, right now it's a laborious process. It takes about 60 days to turn an embryonic stem cell into a mature midbrain dopaminergic neuron, and that involves a lot of cell culture. So it's aseptic technique, we're in hoods where um, germs are forbidden, so we must be super careful. So we cultivate the cells and grow the cells, we cultivate and grow, cultivate and grow, and in the end we have a pile of cells all starting from our original stem cells. Right now, what we're trying to do is determine what happens to the neurons when you, um, for, for want of a better term, make the microglial cells angry. So you can cause them to become reactive. These diseases develop over a long period of time, decades and people don't really understand what causes the process to continue and we don't have any drugs which actually slow down the rate of degeneration and it is a it is a process of discovery in the sense that um, we actually don't know which way to go probably because our models have not been good enough and that's where the stem cells really come in the ability to to obtain cells from the human brain and, and have them on a plate which we can you know, look at on a daily basis I don't know, it's detective work. It's, it's basically a puzzle. Trying to do this stuff is a puzzle. And I love a puzzle. Um, and so every day I come in and work a little bit on the puzzle. It's a really big puzzle. It's like trying to do a jigsaw in the dark and there's no picture and you don't even know if you've got all the bits. I like very much working with young people and uh, encouraging them to sort of think creatively about the problem. They often come with really important ideas too, which is another very interesting part of working with them. Um, quite often the really important ideas come initially from PhD students or postdocs and we, we take those ideas and develop them together into something which is effectively more effective, I suppose, more valuable. We offer the students training where they need it, and there's plenty of training available in multiple techniques, all the techniques that we use at MIPS. Lots of imaging, too, particularly for stem cells. So we'll work our way through their training, we'll develop them as, as thinkers, really, so that those programs are really designed to get students thinking for themselves, thinking on their feet in particular. Mm -hmm.